Okay, I got an Aqua Sport 20 foot Express Fisherman here. It's a cutty cabin, walk around cabin style. Uh, it's an 81 hull. Uh, I've put some time and money into it, trying to restore it and bring it back to, you know, new condition again. Do a quick walk around here. Put a new winch strap on it. Um, <clears throat> Let's see here. It's got newer tires. They've been on there about a year. Absolutely no signs of dry rot. They only probably got about 50 miles on them. Um, I put new tires on it. I bought the boat, I don't know, a year and a half ago or so from a family member and I've just been uh, bringing it back to life ever since. It's sat for about 10 years. Um, it's got a 94 Suzuki 225 two-stroke fuel injected on it. And uh, it was... Um, rebuilt by a friend who was a boat mechanic at the Sanibel Yacht Club. So it's got extremely low hours on it since it uh, sat up. And the reason it sat was because water got in the gas and it just sat that way for like 10 years. Rotted the fuel tank out. Um, anyways, I bought it like that and uh, got a new fuel tank in it. Got all new fuel lines, new electrical uh, lights, wiring, uh, new fuel separator. Just been uh, going through it here, putting a lot of time and a little bit of money here, putting new hatches in, things like that. Um, it needs speakers. They play, but they sound horrible. Um, I'm going to replace this handle here pretty soon, next day or so, for the, for the control box. Um, I disabled this switch, and it had a trim switch up there, and I put a new one in it there. Um, but... Uh, it's got a breaker panel inside. I haven't cleaned the inside up yet. It's got a VHF radio in there. It's an old one. Probably should put a new one in there, but it does work. Um, you can see it's got a fuse panel there. I got one of the circuits off. That's why it's not lit up. Decent sized cabin. It's just really dirty in there. Uh, compass works gauges work the fuel uh, the speedometer though the fuel the line needs to be hooked back up and it's hanging out right there and these uh, mono lines here they're run in here don't know if you'll be able to see them hanging here but basically they're two pull strings so if you get a new fish finder or something to put up here you can pull the wiring from back there all the way up to the console there I ran those while I was running new wiring for like the light here and the light up there and I ran new light wire for the light up there so we'll turn these on so you got lights it's hard to see but it is on in the back there and the one in the front's on too I'm not gonna bother walking around and I also added this light here it's a two-position switch if you pull it on that'll come on so Anyways, I'm going to turn all this stuff off in here. Uh, new bilge pump, by the way, and new bilge discharge hose. I don't know if it's going to start. The batteries are pretty dead. I um, ran the batteries pretty low, playing with all the lights and the bilge pump and everything. Oh, yeah. So it fires up. Got the Optima batteries in there. Bought those about a year ago when I bought the boat a year and a half ago. See new fuel line, new fuel separator. It's got fire extinguisher. The flares are in there somewhere. Um, just walk around to the front here. There's is an anchor in there and a little bit of anchor line. Probably should get more. You can see it's got plenty of room though to fish, which is what I bought it for. It just mainly needs uh, some cosmetic work, cleaning up, waxing, buffing. Fuel tanks under there, it's about an 87 gallon. I just pumped about 25 gallons of fuel in it. It's a little over a quarter, it's hard to see through this, but this does unscrew. It just got a lot of humidity in there because I've been washing on it. And it's got the battery disconnect switch. And 
And uh, again, this being a fuel injected motor, it starts up super easy. You know, it's not like the days of the old two strokes when they're cold and you just run them over and over and over and over and over, and over and then finally it fire up. So, uh, you know, boat's not perfect. You know, it's got some blemishes on it here and there, but uh, everything that matters is, is right. The motor, the trim and tilt, electrical, the safety stuff, the plumbing, all of it's good to go. So this boat, you know, you could put it in the water tonight and uh, have fun, take it out for a weekend. You know, the cabin's small. You wouldn't really want to sleep in it unless it was pretty cool out, unless you're smaller. But uh, you can see here, tires are in really good shape. Bought them from Firestone. And the uh, trailer's in decent shape. It's galvanized, but um, I put new rollers in it. Non-skid style rollers. Uh, the lights aren't that old. Put some reflectors on it. You can see it's got the big one back there. Um, I do have cushions for the seats, but uh, they're pretty rough. I mean, really, they need to be thrown away or saved and used as a pattern. Um, also, there was a cushion for the front box there that had the anchor in it. But that's about all I can think of. So, again, it's a 81 Aqua Sport 20 foot cabin or Express Fisherman is what they called it with a 94 Suzuki 225 fuel injected two stroke. I'm um, looking to get $4,500.